all right welcome back everyone to another video and in this one uh, i am going to be destroying some lcds so the plan is to try and see how much of the backing can we remove uh, and still have the lcd working i have a dead display and i have a broken display so this one still works but it's like broken here and i'll show when i get this but so all i want to do is just start removing it piece by piece uh, and what i'm trying to see is um, if this particular ribbon cable is actually fused into the glass or like sandwiched between glass pieces so that it cannot be physically removed uh, or is it just pressure fit uh, from the backing and if it's not pressure fit just uh, on the backing then we can potentially have everything else removed including the lights uh, backlight and uh, once that's done uh, we can basically turn on the LCD and provide our own backlight and it would be one of those see-through things that you see on um, some fancy PC cases um, that they have like on, on the panel window. So trying to go for something like that, if you're successful with doing this, just tearing it apart, it doesn't work at all. Just tearing it apart and seeing what if, uh, in, what's inside. If, if we can do it with this, then I'll move on to this particular board. And when we are done with this particular um, screen, this is also broken, uh, but still displays stuff. Um, and hopefully it will still display stuff when I've opened it. Uh, then we can move on to a bigger screen that can actually use HDMI ports. So um, without further ado, let's... Uh, start tearing things up and hopefully it all goes nice and smooth um, so there's not much to it apart from the fact that there's like um, some pins here that we just need to some like um, not even pins I don't know what you'll call this um, flaps that we need to just remove and it will it should open up at least the basic bits of the LCD not sure what lies ahead all right so I guess it just wants to come out like that so uh, we'll we'll help it out and uh, see where it leads us and I'm hoping that the polarization sheet is actually uh, fused with the LCD as well not, it's not like a separate thing that might be an issue um, so you can see that's the that's how thin the LCD is right in the middle that bit that's the that's the actual LCD. Everything else is just support material. And so once you have at least one side loose, I think it should just comply and come apart with just your hands. And let's go for a broke. Um, and there it is. So when you take uh, the LCD is still like stuck to something at the back. So here it it flips out and that's all your backing material for your um i guess wow um i hope i didn't break anything here but you can see um that is for your backlight that those two pins uh, and then this is all your uh, material that's used to spread that backlight and here is the backlight somewhere around here embedded um I wonder if you can turn it on, not sure what the backlight like voltage is, but maybe next time you can see the pads here and those are just soldered on. Um, so that's like the, the entire set of uh, sheets that dissipate that backing light evenly uh, over. And then this is like a Fresnel lens, which is interesting. So, I mean, I, I got a couple of Fresnel lens for free, if not nothing else. So you can see um, the distortion it causes. So yeah, so those are two Fresnel lenses, which is interesting. Like I I know about them. I've never used them or held held them in my hand, but this is extremely cool. You know what? Um, let's just make this video about Fresnel lenses. Why not? No. I'm moving on. I've got a couple of funny lenses now and I'm a happy boy. Um, I'll probably take these out to the sun. 
cool stuff with them not sure if that there's another bag like there so that's all of that gone what I'm trying to do is to remove yep that came out not so easily but I think we we still have area to just solder on and just for completion I'll take the back apart as well and see where the LCD is but this is what we get it's as things start come start coming up uh, they will light up the LCD or make it lighter uh, so this is in its off position so uh, I think it should be pretty okay um, if we have like a backlight beneath it and it uh, starts coming on one by one uh, again this does not work so we cannot test it on this but as soon as I get the other one apart uh, that's where we can test it so uh, just for completion as to um, where the backlight is hidden or where all the backlight is in this one and if we can power it on I mean I'm not going to power it on now I don't have a power supply on hand but we can basically start disassembling we don't have to be very careful about it since there's no glass involved Ah, so the backlight is embedded in this white um, thing right there so though that is our strand of backlight um, and these can be quite bright and powerful and they uh, hit up like so and in this direction all right on to the uh, wor working one so it's again as I said not entirely working but we'll see how much it actually works so power it on and you can see it's yeah it has some broken stuff here but at the end of the day it will boot in a few seconds there you go so still legible that it works uh, very low brightness but i think we can make it work so um, let's start popping things up and go from there the one thing that does uh, bother me that might be an issue is that we have like a touch screen area right on top of the LCD um, and I'm not sure how that might hinder our ability to take the LCD apart So here, this thick of a glass is actually the uh, the touch screen and, and not the LCD. So it's like a protective layer, has a touch screen sandwich in there and you can see like this separate um, touch ribbon cable coming out from it. So that's not a main, uh, main screen. Um, yeah, well, hopefully that all just comes apart. Now I need to be really careful because this is already like a broken LCD and uh, if I if I want to test it then I don't want to um, break it further so ever so carefully that comes out there here one, two and three that's done oh some of them went back in all of them are out now yep so the good news is that this entire assembly comes apart so this is your touch sensitive area and as far as I know it works but I don't have like the driver for um, I don't know this is not X Y and Z so I don't have the proper driver that goes from this to 
whatever connection that is. I'm not sure if this is like even USB. So, I mean, if it's USB, it's interesting. Like you can make like a touch pad out of it in, in more um, in like some sense and have like fancy lights. So that might be a project, but I don't think that this is USB. And um, so yeah, I'll have to look at what I see there is on the ribbon. And if that's something useful, then that's fine. And we can reuse this. But if it's not, then well, that's about it. And let's see. The LCD has the same problem of being stuck at the back of oh, pain. And don't just want to power it on. So you can see it's broken up, up there on the corner. That's the broken part. And oh, it comes out like that. And we are off to a good start. So yeah let's uh let's power it on and see what happens this this should be interesting um which way did it go Set down. there it's it turns on sweet and wait for it there we go so still working and i can just place my finger right here pick this entire assembly up you can see it's still working and i'm, I'm waiting for the gui to come up there's the mouse there's the gui now this is the effect i'm looking for you can see see my hands there we go it's working so yeah this is exactly the sort of um, stuff I'm looking for a see-through um, like display basically and you can have your own custom lights and stuff like that and it it just looks awesome so um, yeah I mean uh, let's see what else so this is also like soldered on um and it's not terribly bright i thought this would be brighter but it's like eh, eh it's okay brightness is not that good but it's there and it also has furnace lenses i'm happy about that but uh the oh, come off comes the lcd now i was really hoping uh, that there might be some way to show you what i um like i don't have new pixels at hand so I don't really have a way to store it securely. That's the problem. Like, how do you store something that is this fragile? Um, let me remove the backlight completely, and I'll and I'll maybe place like my phone or something just to emulate like a RGB thing happening in the background. So I was thinking maybe something like this where. Um, yeah, the effect is not that visible. Yeah, the effect is not super visible. So, I mean, you'll have to code it for it specifically, code the UI for it. But uh, let me see if I can get like the generic disco app working. So, I mean, even on the home screen, you can see like the Debian login lights up. But um, so. Um, yeah something like this where you can just add your own back light um, and and you can do like cool stuff with, uh, with the amount of with, with like proper lighting and things like as I said like those fancy um, cases that exist for PCs and they can actually do pretty good um, stuff so that's red i can go blue just have different sorts of backlights but i mean yeah this is a very 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 basic use case but of course you can go much much in detail and see how how weird the polarization effect is i'm not sure if it's visible but it just like cross lines all over the screen as soon as i place it down but yeah anyway so this is how you do it uh, you have to make your ui accordingly you have to do a lot of things right 
um, in order for the final effect to be working but with a display like this um, you can you can do it uh, just remove the the casing and be very careful with the glass very careful um, I, I can't say that enough but so how now you ask you're using a special board yes I am which I use a special screen yes I do how do you get this into generic um, see my video earlier uh, I made a video about different LCD screens you can basically do the exact same thing with a generic um, LCD display that you buy off of um, AliExpress or something like that you, you see those um, panels that are you know HDMI input or for Raspberry Pi or some weird shit like that you can use that so yeah with any tablet LCD or any this uh, any 7 inch 10 inch LCDs that you get on the market you can basically remove um, these bits the casing and the backlit and everything else and make it a completely see-through LCD so I guess that's about it thank you for watching this video I hope something like this comes in handy for your projects and you can just um, make great UI out of it uh, have it nicely backlit and everything working so thank you so much for watching um, this was again an experiment on my end as well just wanted to see if it destroyed the LCD or not it didn't the LCD is working so I can actually reboot the system and you can see it booting in glorious Oh, we can actually do the old school boot where, um, yeah, just, just for a finale, that would be nice. And then boot Linux. Um, so like the olden displays that of, of yesteryears um, that were monochrome green. And we can just, oh, where the switch? And power it back on. Give it a second. Ah, there you go Linux booting with green display um, and there's not a monochrome screen this is an RGB screen but hey we hacked it and here we have Linux just booted up um, with a monochrome green display so again yeah uh, yeah that was just just so off um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one bye